Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. It's 1240. I'm here. It's time. I've been pretty consistent about recording these when I wake up lately, which is nice at least. But making this the first thing in my day means that we don't accidentally record this on a time crunch or at four in the morning. Both of which I think are not good. This champion? Alright. Alright, we can play Wendy Boy today. Fine. I'll play him. You got me. Oh man, another worm can day. I think I said I said that Exile Awoken is the best for Wormkin main, but I also think that Wormkin is really good for Exile Awoken main. Because you have access to Echo Transfer, which makes it a lot easier to make Wendleton your main carry. Which is very nice. Anything today? Not particularly. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get going. Exile Awoken Wormkin. Explosive Sigil, Rage, Sap, Sharpen, Echo, Transfer, Preserved, Thorns. Sure. I don't mind. Priory's Cloak is legitimately useless, but I'm sure that Winged Steel will stab me in the back. However, I don't think that there's a case against it. I don't think there's any case against it. And I'm just gonna play Strangler. There's no reason not to play Strangler. And we're really strong, so we take the artifact and we go Mark of a Champion 5 attack. Not Winged Indulgence for sure. It's a good start. I, I would honestly, this is a strong run because we already have almost everything we need to win the game right now. Which is pretty incredible. But yeah, we're already most of the way to a victory. This doesn't even matter. I should. I guess it's good because it lets me get two train stewards to kill collector mid floor now. Yeah. Or oh, I don't have the money or the energy. I should say. Yeah. No way. No way to catch the collector. That's a shame. I. So I wonder if, in hindsight here, if you play, if you would ever play middle floor so that you guarantee the collector. Because if you play middle floor, you can't miss the clergyman on the top floor, or the collector on the top floor. I mean an interesting thought. I cannot afford Echo Transfer. It's fine. I'm really not that worried about this one. Definitely feels like a run that's going to take energy though. And probably the best unit to see for this run is Keeper of Echoes. Just because he's like, Wendleton doesn't need a lot of help. So any amount of passive benefit we can get is worthwhile. Monster Train just crashed. Well, that's weird. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. One sec. Oh, I am back. I didn't really... I should have probably waited to be on a still screen to unpause, but... Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, so... Here I am again. Once again. I, I could have played through the combat again, but... You know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Very strange. I... So I've been, as I talked about, and this is I'm going to say this is maybe the source. Uh, I've been working on uh, an edited video. It's, it's more effort than I expected, but uh, that uh, that the the editing software that I've been using is very uh, intensive on my PC. I think so. I would maybe say it's that which caused, but like uh, the editing software isn't open right now, so I don't really know why that would cause me issues. But, either way, uh, strange. Hopefully not a sign of bad things to come. Monster Train has crashed before and it has not been an issue, so. I don't know, my PC's old. It's like almost six years old now. I got it in like 2017, so. I should consider upgrading something, but. I should get a new CPU, honestly, but anyway. Uh, Wildwood Sap is what I'm going to take here. It's good for the early game, hopefully good for the late game. Echo transfer is okay, but I'm not really limited by number of echo transfers in my deck right now. Echo infusion is also okay, but similarly not limited by number of echo infusions in my deck. I mean, I don't have echo infusion, but do I want plus 10 HP? No, I'm gonna go echo transfer. Go right, I have no money. That's okay, I really only need... Uh, I mean, Bog Chrysalis is okay. It's two units in front of Wendleton, and I can give it plus 25 to get a lot of value, but... 
I don't think I like it. I actually don't think I like either of these because of the shell. I think that spending my echoes is not good. So I won't. And then we will leave, but we will also make a note that we cannot take pack shards for magic power. An important thing to notice here, because that could lock me out of the divinity. I don't necessarily want to take plus four here. Wendleton is still kind of weak. Yeah, I shouldn't take this. I'll die. I don't have the healing for that right now. I don't have a way to survive that easily. I mean, I guess I have train stewards, which I could be playing in front. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Maybe I could have done it. Hard to say. I'm playing like I have quick already. It's likely that I get quick, but I don't have it currently. Do I have a train steward coming up? I do. Okay. I triple sting so that my current steward dies, and I'm going to just draw cards. Uh, so presumably, actually, I will not draw train steward on the- or I'll draw train steward on the next turn. Yeah, so this isn't so good, but it's fine. I'm saving my Wildwood Sap for next time around. Hopefully I draw it. I'd be surprised if I didn't. No steward, unless I draw it off the top. So I'll play Echo Transfer so I can potentially draw it off the top. I did not, but... Also, the boss here only does 5 damage per round, and we do 67, so it doesn't take long for him to die. And also, also, Train Steward no longer helps me because this is a sweep enemy. But, Wildwood Sap clinches it, no question now. Good fight. Absolutely fine. Glad I didn't take the trial, I think it was kind of scary. I should pick Razor Sharp Edge I don't need, I have three Echo Transfers. I'm gonna take Wildwood Sap, I think it's good for Daedalus. Is Bounding Echoes worth it here? I guess it is because of Echo Transfer. We have three Echo Transfers, which aren't purple. Hitting even one of those is very nice. I'm gonna go right. I feel like it's probably smart to look for a real unit here. God. Infused Mallet is so disgusting, but... What is Split Anvil going to do for me here? Very little. But if it ever does something, it's so good. Yeah, these are not the units I want frontlining for Wendleton. I'd rather have Train Steward. That's really awful. Kill 10 for 5 pack shards? Sure. I don't mind it because I feel like I'm going to have trouble hitting my pack shard numbers anyway. Yeah, I'm actually down for spell chain wildwood sap here as well. It's not great, but what it does is it gives me a 2 energy card, which I can use with split anvil now. And it gives me doubled efficiency on wildwood sap. Both of these end up being pretty good. There's a lot of guaranteed damage in this combat that I'm trying to deal with. Mm, yeah, it's not a bad idea to just take the take the, the ones away. Because guaranteed, cause even though those clergymen are going to do zero actual damage, they do one explosion damage when they die, so... I'm gonna play Root Seeds. I think that actually in this combat, Root Seeds is better than Sharpen. Earlier I played Sharpen over Root Seeds because Sharpen gave me spikes. I don't think the spikes are that useful. I think it's better to draw back through the deck. So I shall. I'm not gonna any pinch single HP. Oh, Sharpen cost two! How could I forget? You know how I forgot? It's because I forgot that Sharpen's in this deck. I forgot that Sharpen existed, so I forgot that Sharpen cost two. <laughs> yeah. Wingsteel, so far, no horrific, terrifying, awful betrayals. One more time around for Wild, let's see if we have the luxury. Look at this dude, Sharpen cost two. That's so good. I can't believe it, Sharpen. I'm actually just going to play Fracture. Taking all this health off of Daedalus is definitely worth it. Does the spell chain version cost zero? I don't think it does. Like, if I play Sharpen and then this goes to zero cost. Copy cost plus one. I think it costs two. 
I'm not sure. And I'll probably die if I'm wrong. I mean, I will die if I'm wrong, so let's not find out. Let me know, though, if you happen to know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, like, I'm fairly certain that if you play Sharpen, reduce the cost of a spell chain card to zero, and then play the spell chain card, the spell chain... Uh, the, the version that gets generated off of the spell chain costs the original version plus one. I think it costs one plus one and not zero. And also not zero plus one, which is the other option there, by the way. But, I'm not sure. Anyway, 123 damage on Daedalus is usually a good sign. To use the Wildwood, or sorry, unleash the Wildwood, which is infused. I also like Echoes of the Past, but I have three Echo Transfers. Echoes of the Past becomes worse because I have so many Echo Transfers. And Echo Transfer just is good. Definitely energy here. Even though I have Split Anvil. Uh, I really want to go to the Magic Shop. I'll go to the next one because I want to go see removals here. Carpet gets to stay in this run. Can you believe it? I don't believe it. I'm here for... Multi-strike isn't really that useful for me. I'm gonna move my chair in. Hold on one sec. Alright. I think Thornward is good. Since I'm doing all this next turn drawing anyway. And turn one's very expensive. I mean, Strangler 2 is in no way. It's a shame because I don't get Predator and I don't get Multi-Strike, but I think I'll be okay. I can get Quick Tome. I'm gonna reroll. I don't want Multi-Strike. I just want health. I want Keeper of Echoes to have a high base HP. And I don't ever want to come to another Steel Shop. I'm gonna open the Horde while I'm here. Health Banners is good. Zap Tap is also okay. I think I like more card draw, honestly. I don't need Hell's Banners. Mind Horde is pretty worthless. And let's leave. I'm... Yeah, I mean, if the enemies move up, as I always say, if the enemies move up with Heaven Seal on a Strangler run, uh, you lost. The game is over. He's dead. There's no other way. It's actually impossible for the enemies to move up other than you died. There's a lot of stings. The next turn draw is vicious, but... I don't necessarily... Here, let's find out that that spell chain question now. Should play Bounding Echoes first. It does come in at two cost. I was correct. Good to know. The, the little bits we'll get from Keeper of Echoes are going to be nice, right? It's not going to give me a crazy amount. Oh, also I put all my regen on Wendleton. I guess I'm not really respecting Keeper of Echoes here, but... That's fine, I don't mind. Fuck them, you know? If I had quick, it would be a little bit cleaner, but I don't really care. I also have Unleashed the Wildwood, so... But no, I definitely should be putting my regen on Keeper. In every combat that isn't the Divinity, on the Divinity I let the Keeper die. Every combat other than the Divinity, I chill. I have so much next turn draw. So the thing is, I was about to say, the thing about next turn draw is that it's good on every turn other than turn one. Obviously on turn one you can't have next turn draw. is very good. I also have so much energy now. I don't know. Saptap will draw me a card every turn, so I don't need to take more healing. I have enough. Worm can spike is okay. I haven't paid attention actually. Does Saptap Saptap draws you the card and it sticks in your hand? I think. I'm gonna skip this because we're very strong right now. We are, we are a very powerful position here. Mmm, sure. I just want the pack shards really because it's kind of hard for this deck to take pack shards. I fear. I guess we could take like Train Steward Infusion on the Keeper. God, it's so scary. Am I really about to hold over sharp? But I think I am. <laughs> it, like, it makes every card in my deck other than this sharp and free. Oh, how, how awful. Oh, the horror. I think it is good, though. 
Okay, minus one Wildwood Sap. I could duplicate this card, potentially. 70. Go to 80 here. Hmm. I'll take the money, sure. Why not? I was gonna say maybe Crystal Cloak is a threat, but I don't think Crystal Cloak is a threat. We played top four, we have 15 regen. We're good. So there's one, so I, I said earlier, by the way, I said that this run... Okay, that's fine. But, you know, what, did, what did I say? What was I gonna tell you I said earlier? Oh, I was talking about the next turn draw, I remember. I said that next turn draw is good, but it has its flaws. The answer, there's a specific relic that answers the next turn draw issue, and that is, of course, I'm sure you can guess, it's a lost luggage. I I would love to see lost luggage for this run. Not gonna bother with the train steward saving idea. I am going to wait on Wildwood Sap. We wanna let it build up. Oh, I played one sharpen on the on the keeper, didn't I? I must have. But heal healing early isn't good here. Like putting up regen early isn't good because we have a finite amount of regen. And I want the regen to bleed into Relentless. The reason also that it's not that good is because I have unleashed the Wildwood. If I'm bold, I don't play Wildwood Sap here. I'm not. I play Wildwood Sap here. I think it's way too scary to just skip out on Wildwood Sap and say, yeah, I'll probably hit next turn. What if I don't? Oh, also I should be encanting top four. That's what I've been doing. The spikes are fucking my man over here. Oh no, tell me he doesn't die here. After I burned all my regen too, that would actually just kill me, I think. One, two... It's the spikes, man, it's the spikes. He's dying to the spikes. Okay, he lives. And now I get Unleash the Wildwood and we're fine. I, I thought that playing the regen, I could have, what I should have done there is I should have done the math and I should have maybe picked off some sycophants, but it pans out and it's okay. The real thing that I would like to look back on here is the spikes were really terrible for me. The spikes were very horrible. Very, very scary. But Wendleton's a 224 attack unit. He has plenty of attack and we have 80 HP with 12 regen. I think that there's no way I ever die here. However, I don't trust this game. I don't trust Crystal Cloak, so I'm just going to maximize. Yeah, I don't trust Monster Train here. I'll take the W. Thank you. Good fight. A very scary fight. That was very close to being disastrous. Because if, if the front man dies with all my regen, I lose the game for sure. And Graft is good because it's purple and it is fine. I am happy with that. I don't need any of these. We're very strong. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kind of cruise here. Hellvent for sure. I think I'm duplicating regen. Yeah, I'm not gonna do Train Steward Infusion. I, it's like, it's okay. You can infuse Train Steward to remove one card from your deck, but why? I don't really need it. I think Penitent Remains is pretty bad. It's 10 attack, which is not very useful. I'm full health. I don't need Calcified Embers here. They're okay, and sometimes they're good for the final boss, but I'm good. Give me another Wild Woods hat. This is it. I'm playing Regen today. Now I'm at 80. I'm at 95 if I take this, uh, this Relic. So I'm over by one hit. But I could also, like, there's not really a Relic that I want, I guess. But well, I can take 10 and 10. Yeah. Assuming that it's not plus 10 piercing in both. Although I can take plus 10 piercing in Graft, so never mind. I'm good to go to an even 100 pack shards here. I'll skip the Relic as much as I want it. Because I like clicking on Relics, I don't think there's anything that's really all that good for us here. I guess uh, Light's Gift is a big win, but... Yeah, Light's Gift is good here, wow. Bold. Very bold claim out of your boy. I don't think I care that much. Although, this is, a, this is a problem. Hey, Monster Train. How about I play the game in a way that doesn't just lose for fun? Great idea. I'm going to kill the Quill Marksman because that enemy does 50. 
There are there are times where I would lose to that just because I'm not paying attention. Oh. Let's not have that happen here. Because I can't act like I have quick. If I act like I have quick, I, I will disrespect this combat and die if I'm not careful. If I act like I have quick or if I act like I have uh, the ability to survive anything. Rage, Rage Fell puts out a lot of damage very fast and I don't want to die. Sting Sting. I will greed my Wildwood Sap because there's no way that Keeper dies on the next turn if I ping this enemy off. It's impossible for him to die. He's 35 HP. 19 and 15 is 34. That's probably... Although, I think it's impossible for him to die now because I have Unleash coming up. Although, I am incentivized to play Wildwood Sap earlier than I have been because it gives me card draw. However, I have to draw Unleash, and I also don't think I can die here. 18 and 24. Ah, I can die there. But I think it's it would be fine. Would it have been fine? I mean, actually, I guess I could have bottom decked and died here, huh? No, I would have lived because of Engraft, but... Yeah, it would have. There was no way for me to bottom deck my card because of engraft. Actually, I see. I got it. I got it. And now I think we pull the trigger and we start putting up regen. Because now, although I have another unleash, I think I'll draw through again. God, hello. Thank you. Nice. Good to be at four echoes there. Just be able to pop the Quill Marksman that are scary. I'm gonna greed because we draw 10 per turn. I think I will draw again in three turns. Will I draw this one again as well? I don't know. It's a good question. Because I do actually need this regen to live. How greedy am I? I think now is when I start playing them. I don't think I wait around anymore. I think it's a little too scary. Yeah, I mean it's not even that much regen, I fear. Well, let's play let's play this correctly. Play these first so that I get my card free. I might have delayed too long on the regen. It's actually pretty likely that I did. I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, and I didn't, but it's still scary. I put my regen on the wrong guy. Alright, goodbye. Get him out of here. Now, what we have to think about in this run is, similar to the Wormkin XL Awoken run from a few days ago, we have to think about if there's something that catches me here. Is there something that just kills me on the Divinity? Maybe. I have to think about it some. Unearth Remains is fine. Two Echoes, it's plus two, plus two. I don't need space. I guess I'll take draw. There are turns where draw is better. I don't need energy, so, you know. Heal 30 health? I don't need this. I have my pack shards handled. And we're going magic shops for the rest of time. Except for if there's a duplicate somewhere. Removals are kind of hard, though. I don't really want to remove anything. Every card here is fine. 27? I guess I cut out, like, two fractures. I guess that's fine. I want 10 pack shards here. Urge stone? Sure. Like, it's not great to get rid of Fracture, but it's also not bad. And I am down for... I don't know, let's go plus 10 and graph. I don't... Like, minus 1 is only useful on cards that cost 2 because we have Holdover Sharp and... Remove Consume Wildwood Sap is okay. I could remove consume holdover wildwood sap, and then I oh yeah, and then I just give I make the sharpen cost one, or honestly just remove it. That's a lot better. Honestly, sharpen has been a pleasure. Much much more interesting of a play though, much better as well. So I'm gonna get rid of the other sharpen as well while I'm at it. Okay, I think this is much better. or two. It's like 
actually just worse. Look at this. Strangler 2 versus Thornlord 2. Thornlord 2 is better after you play five spells. Wow. Th Thornlord 2 is almost better on turn one. Strangler is so sad. This shit's depressing. Have and seal again if they walk up, it's because I died. You ever think about how grateful we should be that there is no haste combat on this floor? I think about that sometimes. Oh, also, what a what a horrible choice. I should have made the stings free. Uh, also, now I am no longer incentivized to delay my Wildwood Sass because I have infinity regen. We just play them when we draw them. I have a near infinite amount of regen. Unfortunately, I'm going to get Ember Drained to hell here. I can't play the, the spell chain. I'm going to get annihilated by Ember Drain in this combat, I fear. I'm going to try to fight it off, I guess. Honor damage. I'll kill him in two turns, but still, that's like, oh god, let's make a stop. Sting, sting, transfer. I just want to draw my cards before I... Yeah, it's good to draw your cards before you make the things free, but... Not a whole lot of interesting stuff to draw here. My energy goes down. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Because everything in my deck is free and I'm only ever going to lose two per turn. Okay, I guess it's actually fine. I was a little more concerned than I needed to be. This, uh, hey, hello, alert, alert, alert. There's a wave doing 100 damage to me. Is that cool? Is that okay? I don't know. Oh, also, interesting interesting interaction there. I don't know if you saw that. The enemy, the Pyrowings died to spikes, and if an enemy, if the Pyrowings dies to spikes, you don't take Ember Drain. I didn't even notice that was happening, or I would have pointed it out ahead of time. I redrew Wildwood Staff? Weird. So what, I have to put, like, plus twos down here? Oh, gross. This is a shame. Like, this shouldn't happen, I feel. But, I have to give up a root seeds. It's not the end of the world, I suppose. It's just annoying that it happens like that. Hey, two infusions hit you in a funny way. Here's... Here's a hundred damage. XD. Yeah, you got me. XD. This one's a little bit out of control, though. 30, 332 sweep. My man doesn't even need any help, he's just hitting. He's absolutely striking. The hard part is parsing 10 cards per turn right now. I'm actually drawing more than that, too. I'm drawing like 11 cards in my turns. It's, or 12, it's 11 to 12 cards on average. I draw this deck like, a, I, draw two, I draw through the deck every turn, more or less. It's just hard to parse this much stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and say that 57 regen's probably enough. Yeah, I think it was. Now, on the Divinity, we have a little more thought. I guess not that much more thought, though. It's really just how fast can I play these cards now. And, oh, excellent, I'm going left. Very cool. Well, I was gonna duplicate my... Well... Okay, I was going to duplicate my Wildwood Sap, but I don't need to anymore, so... A shame. I'll take Root Split Mask. I'll take Serrated Mandibles. I'm just going to take the Relic. Uh, I'm one of the Exiles. Very cool. I might just take Jack Strips for the fun of it. I'm going to duplicate uh, Echo Transfer here. More Echo Transfers is good. Hold over. Sure. Hold over is almost worthless in this run. Minus one doesn't need to happen. I don't need any removals. I'm going to buy jack strips and we're gonna go. Oh, I can't afford it. What a shame. Hmm. Like, I don't want to remove root seeds because the next turn draw is important. I don't want to remove all the fractures either. Alright, I'm just gonna go. It's weird to have a run that doesn't want any removals, but here I am. No removals for me, please. Thank you. I do need to keep a slight amount 
of an eye on oh, interesting uh, on the enemies that are spawning on these guys because I can die if a, if there's a bad infusion or two they can kill my man absolutely yeah, hitting bounding echoes on the echo transfer is good Normally a run like this has an escape velocity sort of feel to it, where you reach a point where you will never die because you have quick and so much damage, but this run does not have that because I never saw quick tone. And it's a little scary, not a lot scary. I don't think it's really that much to be concerned about. I wonder if it's better to not play that card, actually. The preserve ones? I wonder if I don't want to play that. I think he might be dead, by the way. That feels like death. Ah, 94 HP, he's alright. If I don't draw wild, or into the... Unleash the Wildwood. If I don't draw that card, I die. Also, regening the wrong target for fun. It's hard, man. It's really hard to actually parse this many cards quickly, I feel. It's surprisingly difficult. Uh, 14 times 4 is 60... it's 56. Oh my god, Seraph, please. Chill, brother, chill. I'm gonna see if my man dies here. I think he is dead. It's fine. I have 105, 106 base HP on Wendleton. I just have to, like, I don't have a good way to kill these Shade Wings that are coming at me. I think it's okay. He tried, but the classic regen problem of it, you will never in a million years, and I mean in a million years of monster train, you will never put up enough uh, M regen to survive these waves. Now, I know that that's not actually true because in a million years you'll hit your Symphony of the Soul run that works, but, you know. It's a little bit dire. I think the stings are actually weighing me down, for real. I also think that I might just die. I think I removed too many fractures. I have to draw Unleash the Wildwood here. I hope I don't miss. Because that would be really unfortunate if I just die here for fun. Oh, it's in hand, okay. I see it, I'm not mad. I was gonna say, ooh buddy, Monster Train. That's not very nice of you. Uh, our attack scaling is just absurd. This is 4 times 4. It's 16 if I want to kill the Shade Wings. But I don't think... It's like... I have 6 times 4. So even if everything goes right, I will not kill this Shade Wings. I think. I would like to have not that damage hit me. But I don't think I can stop it. I guess what I should what I should say for my caveat is you'll never have enough regen in a run where you're playing regen through like wildwood sap. You're never gonna reach the number you need to survive everything. Am I dead here? I have unleash. All right, cool. With unleash, I have enough. Very nice. Really, just kind of like annoying of monster crane though to infuse all of these enemies. What's wrong with this game? Infusing these enemies and making my day harder. Come on, Monster Train. I don't want the Restore All Health for 20 pack shards trade. Thank you. Now, on the Divinity... I actually think I play enough purples for my one Keeper to survive. I'm pretty sure I want to put Wendy Boy in the front here. And I just want to spam regen on him. Keeper will give him a nice high base HP so he doesn't get one shot, and we don't have a repeat of the last combat. Also, I can play Unleash. I also have Unleash to keep him alive, so I'm pretty sure it's good. I'm playing like six to seven cards per turn right now. When you get right down to it, it's good to draw first so that I can make cards cheaper. I'm gonna try not playing Preserve Thorns here. I don't think I want to. You can try to play it safe and kill these. But yeah, I don't think Preserve Thorns is worth it here. I think I draw too many cards as it is. 
once I play all my consumes out and such. So I'm going to see what happens when I skip Preserve Thorns. We go Echo Transfer. And we want to play another free card. I'm pretty sure I don't get one shot, but I don't think that'll happen here. What, what was the quick count? 30, uh, 39. Plus 12 is 51. I'm 50. 59. Okay, and each of these is 6 attack. I don't think I'll get one shot here. I would like to kill the spikes, though. That would be good. Up to 24 there. Up to 53. He's dying currently. Yeah. He's dying to the spikes, it looks like, because everything else is dying here. It's okay, I have Unleash for this. 33 regen. You would think it would be enough, but it sure isn't. Yeah, the spikes enemy lives. I could have played and graphed on that floor. Maybe I should have, but I think the regen in the plus one plus one is worth more to me. 23. Okay, I think if we survive this wave, we should not have a trouble. We're also drawing into Unleash a little more consistently. I think that is because I skipped the Preserve Thorns. It does seem to be the right idea in this combat. Just to make your Unleash draws a little more consistent, because Unleash smooths this all over. Ah, uh, alert. Alert. Don't die to this Wing Conduit. Please do not die to the Wing Conduit. Not even close on Keeper of Echoes dying, by the way. Not even a thought. I played four Echo Transfers that turn. We put our first Fracture down, they get half health. Letting that enemy go up, I have learned the hard way, kills almost everything. Multi-strike is not welcome here. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to kill it. Easily. I can go down there and play like Root Seeds, I guess, but that feels pretty rough. Let's see what the draw is. It's Sting, of course. I think I have to do this as much as I don't want to. I'm gonna top off. I think I actually come down here and I play Root Seeds. It's like... I play two Root Seeds. I ha I, I'm not letting this Wing Conduit walk up. I think it will just kill me outright. Draw 10 next turn, I'm okay. Feels 45 on the regen. Ooh, is this it? Is this finally the regen winner? Did we make it? After all these years of searching, have we finally found the regen winning run? I don't know if I ever thought I'd live to see the day. It looks like we have a winning run with regen though. All it took was 10 draw per turn, 2 spell chain wildwood saps, and then a remove consume hold over wildwood sap, and split anvil. And here we are. Dude, this is like... Uh, honestly, I know I'm, I'm playing this now, I just want to sting. I want the incants because we're at the end. Uh, I know that I've often said... Or I often disregard when you get to really high numbers in this game because it's like, oh, well, I've capped out. This is a really high number, though. Having 700 base attack here, like, this is base attack. This is no buffs. This is no rage. This is... I have put this... I've taken this man from... Wendleton went from, like, 10 to 707 in this combat. That's so much attack increase. He, he went from 10 attack to 707. He gained 697 attack in this combat. Like, what the hell? That's crazy. That's 60 per... Like, what is that? That's a 10, 10 round combat? That's like 70 attack per round. He's averaging. That's absurd. But when you think about it, it does work out because it's four echo transfers every two turns roughly which is about 60 per turn plus the incants which we're playing about 20 from the incants because it's plus two and we're playing about 10 spells per turn this is just a run with an absurd amount of draw because you got wing steel sap tap a draw relic and all of the next turn draw because wing steel it lets you cheat past the 10 draw limit 
because you draw after you play three cards, so you have room in your hand to draw an 11th card, which is good. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.